Namaste. I'm Sudha Raghunathan here, Karnatic Music Exponent. I have been given the privilege of speaking a few words about the one and only Guruji, Dr. Mangala Palli, Balamukhi Krishnaji. What do I say about Guruji and where do I begin? I think my tryst, my familiarity with Guruji began when I first received an award from his hands. I think I must have been in my early 20s. And then I visited him a couple of times with my guru, Dr. M. L. Vasudhukumariyama. Whenever I met Guruji, he was full of affection, full of smiles, and looked at me as if I was his own child. That was the fondness with which our relationship grew. Time just flew by and I rarely visited him. And then there came a point in my life when I had the privilege of sitting with him and sharing stage, singing with him. And that happened at Bharat Sangeet Utsar. I think maybe eight years ago or ten years ago. When I went to visit him, he said, you haven't come and seen me all these days. Where were you? What have you been doing? How has your music progressed? And we sat and chatted like friends. That's how the great legend behaves. No ego, no arrogance. No possessiveness, you know, I mean, that like as if he owns his music or his stature. He comes down to the level of whoever he talks to. So I told him everything. And then he said, you should come more often, visit me, and learn some kritis from me. I'm ready to share my compositions with you. So then we came to the subject matter. I said, Guruji, I'm supposed to sing with you in this Utsar, in this festival. What are we going to uh, present? So he said, we'll take care of it on stage. I said, no, 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 you have to tell me what it is because I have to go over it in my mind and realize that I'm singing with a legend and practice a little bit at home. So he said, okay, Vatapi Ganapatin, Sundarini, which is a Kriti of Saint Yagaraja in the Radha Kalyani, and then he asked me, what Tilana do you know? So I said, Vrindavani, uh, that's the best. So he said, okay, we'll sing that. Is, are you happy now? Is that okay? I, mean, I was stunned by his humility and uh, down-to-earth attitude. For him to ask somebody who is so junior to him, what do you know? I will be able to sing that with you was something that I never expected from him. It was a learning for me, definitely. And then I came to the main question. I said, what pitch will we be singing in? So whatever pitch that you decide, what pitch do you sing on? So I said, G or G sharp. So he said, fine, G is fine. And then of course, the great day came and I don't know how the two hours just flew, I think almost two hours. We sang and everything was so spontaneous and the, the space sharing, the stage sharing was, was truly a lesson to learn from the great legend. He was flowing with the music. He didn't impose his presence or his seniority and appreciated me whenever I did a good round of swaras, allowed me to sing raga, gave me space in the kriti terrible, just everything. And that concert remains etched in my memory till date. After that, we did a few other concerts, two or three wedding concerts, and then we took this capsule of music to the Cleveland Tyagraja Aradhana. And even there, 
when I went to visit him and said, are we increasing the repertoire or is it going to be the same three songs? So he said, no, 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 let's change it. So let's uh, sing Behak Tilana. I said, I don't know Guruji. He said, I will sing it for you. And then he recorded it for me. And then the first Kriti was Gana Sudharasa, first or second Kriti, in the Radha Nate. See, I've created a song in your name, he said. I felt so proud. I mean, even to be able to say a few words about him makes me so emotional and takes me on a recap journey of reminiscence. I think we have to learn so many lessons from him as to how even when he touched the pinnacle of success and remains there as the uncrowned emperor of Carnatic music, he was able to you know, be familiar with the younger group of artists, teach his disciples, embrace newness into his music by allowing such concepts to happen, like making me sing Ravi Kiranji to play along with him. It's not only a lesson, I think it's something that we need to imbibe and inculcate in our own lives. Guruji is a personality, I think, who has walked this earth maybe one or once in a hundred years. And we, I, I'm so blessed to have been living at a time when Guruji lived and also known him to the extent that the next incident happened. I had received the Sangeeta Kalanandi from the Music Academy, Madras, and to felicitate that whole happening, to make it grander, we decided to have a party table book, which was called Sampurna. And I could think of no one but Guruji to release the first copy. Just a phone call, I didn't even visit him. And he said yes, and he blessed me by releasing the book. So too, another blessing was when he agreed to sing for my son, Kaushik's wedding reception. He even changed the date of performance that he had in Orissa at Bhubaneswar. These things are very rare. These traits are very rare in great personalities like Guruji. And once again, I thank all of you for having given me this opportunity to say a few words and express the deepest of my emotions about Dr. M. Balamukhi Krishnaji. <laughs>